So I finished, just finished the upload for today. Last minute sort of getting things done. Now I need to go quickly, go get some breakfast, have some coffee and then head to work. Today I'm filling in for um, someone at the music shop. Just a short five hour shift. Yeah, it's good, good. it's gonna be a good day. Oh, you son of a... I hear jazz music. I'm gonna go find it. I'm gonna follow it. I'm gonna follow the jazz. Doesn't sound like it's too far away. Let's turn around. But it felt too awkward to stop because it was like on a footpath. So I'm gonna go back this way <laughs> and look and listen to them from the other side. Back at home, the day went really quickly. Just been resetting my resetting my mindset from from all the gigs to getting back into just a I like to call it hermit mode. I love being a hermit. I literally like you know I can be in this room for hours and hours and not leave and just create and work. I really, really, really enjoy coming back into this space because it's it's quiet, it's me, it's got all my my little things, gadgets and things that I've sort of acquired over the years and my collection of instruments and technology sort of things and I just I love I love being in this room and going back to working on this project that I've mentioned in a previous video. The title of it is called I Can't Stop Laughing. Elements of comedy and uh, elements of, you know, sadness and there's just so much depth to it. There's, there are so many layers and it's just really exciting to be able to to write music to something like this. It's, um, I think it's, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant piece of work. Um, collaborating, collab, I can't say that word, collaborating. Collaborating alongside a amazing Melbourne artist, Ellen Grimshaw. Uh, she is fantastic. So check her out on the socials. Originally it was a project that started out as one of my assignments for uni and I it was just uh, just a really great great way of me trying to explore my creativity in composition I just I contacted her and said you should could you could you write me a poem <laughs> could you create a po poem or a piece of work or write something and it could be anything I literally I gave her no no parameters to work with, which kind of probably made it difficult, but I just knew she was the one to do it. I knew she could do it, like it's, it'd be fine. Um, I just wanted her to be, had, let her do her thing. I didn't really know what to expect in the first place. It just, yeah, it was, it was, it was so exciting. It was just fresh. It was so raw. It was um, so honest. It's like I 
felt, I actually felt like I was listening to someone's thoughts, um, like deepest thoughts uh, at, at particular stages of it. And, um, and, I, and I think I listened to it like 50 times before I actually started writing something. I just needed to hear it in different times of the day. Once I really sort of let it all sink in, then I started to analyze the actual, uh, the rhythm of the voice, the pitches. And once I imported it into Logic, I started to really sort of chop it up and think about form, think about the story. Like what story am I wanting to sort of, am I wanting to work with the, the dialogue and with the text or am I wanting to perhaps juxtapose it and just create something you know worlds apart from it and then and I you know sometimes having a plan has helped me when I've been composing and sometimes I think that has also done the opposite like I feel like this one this piece in particular I didn't want to have a plan. I've really just wanted to, I felt confident enough that I would be able to just work on it one section at a time and have enough time in reflection to be able to assess whether or not I'm going in the di right direction or not. So basically I would constantly have this, I'd be looking at the piece, at the section, at a micro level, then zooming out, zooming in, zooming out constantly and re-listening to it. And then I'd step away from it for, for a day or two, then I'd come back to it again and do the same thing. And for me, that just, it, that just worked. Uh, and definitely uh, there were points where I'm, I was just, this, I really was listening to my intuition. I was like, this bit needs this, like it needs it. And I think that does come, like I'm, I'm fairly new. I would say that I'm still fairly new to the world of composition. I, has to, I still have so much, actually music in general, everything. I, I still consider myself, I still have so much to learn and work through. And that, that's, you know, it's a lifetime journey. Uh, but I do feel that with a little bit of the experience that I have, have had in composition the uh it, it you know you, you just get get better at being able to work uh in different ways and trust that you know what you're doing sometimes when you even don't know what you're doing then a few days ago we finally were able to catch up and actually have a discussion face to face and bear bear in mind that this whole thing was done via um, text, uh, messenger, we had one Zoom conversation. So we never really had talked about a face-to-face -face ever. So this was completely done via the ethereal <laughs> world, um, internet world, whatever. Uh, so we were to be able to actually catch up face-to-face -face and listen to it together, the, um, it was like, this is really cool. Like this is super, I think we both were very much on the same page of, um, you know, just feeling excited about something, about this project and being able to create something.